Lord Jesus, we thank you for the privilege of being able to pray for our friends in Uganda. Thank you that we can call them friends, our brothers and our sisters. Lord, we pray as a church that we could come along beside and that together we could just hold hands and work for the kingdom. Lord, thank you that our skin might be different colors, but our hearts are the same, that we love Jesus. Lord, bless my friends there. Let them know that we love them. Africa Renewal Ministry was founded uh, 25 years ago by Peter Kasirvu. Pastor Peter was the pastor and still is the pastor of Gaba Community Church. And as the church continued to grow, they realized that they had many, many needs in the community to meet, physical needs. And so out of that church, they started Africa Renewal Ministry. Africa Renewal Ministry is basically the ministry and the social ministry arm of Gaba Community Church. Another part of that ministry is something that they call the church to church sponsorship. And that's where they partner churches in the West with church plants in Uganda. It is out of this church to church ministry that Austin Ridge has partnered to plant and help plant Padere Community Church in the North. So our relationship with Padere Community Church is ultimately through Africa Renewal Ministry. Uh, again, the ministry arm of Gaba Community Church. pray for our friends in Uganda. Lord, I just, I thank you that they are encouraging to me, encouraging to my relationship with you, that in the midst of everything that they've gone through, um, you've still given them a joy that, um, and a peace, Father, that, that surpasses all understanding. We are at Bethany Village in Uganda. It just sits right on the coast of Lake Victoria. Bethany Village is a model village that Africa Renewal Ministry uses to uh, set the precedent for their communities that they establish uh, throughout the country of Uganda. Here it's got a school, it's got a church, it's got some orphanage homes, farm, and this is the place that they use to uh, minister to the kids in this area and again, use it as a model uh, for their other communities. One of the reasons that this is good for us to be here and to see this and to bring people from our church to be here so that they can catch the vision and uh, the big dreams that we have for Padere, to be able to see this kind of community established around the local church and around the gospel of Jesus Christ uh, to meet the needs of the folks in Padere. Lord, I just thank you just for uh, the personal relationships that you've been able to build uh, through Austin Ridge and Padere. And Lord, you're in the middle of all of it. And uh, we praise you for what you're doing in Padere. We praise you for um, the stories that are gonna be told uh, right now, but then also five, 10 years down the road. Ferman Manukelo. The effect of war to me. Uh, war separated me with my children. Uh, it has really been in our minds and it has become a trauma in our minds, people of, in our minds and the people of Northern Uganda. As the war that con led, he has been abducted young boys. And sometimes back, my son, who had uh, confessed to Jesus Christ, he was from prayers. These people met my son on the way. They arrested my son. They killed him there and then. This is what happened to me. We are in Padere. We are right in the middle of the property at Padere Community Church. And we are in the middle of what is a first for Austin Ridge and Africa Renewal Ministry, and that is a medical mission trip up here to Padere. As you can see, there is a huge need with the folks here in Padere. We knew that was going to be the case, but 
Once we got here, we saw just how incredible it was. The needs of the people, like you specify, can be handled in two, two different ways. But as you talk of from the pastoral point of view, um, it's important to let people know the love of Jesus Christ in their lives. Because as men and as human beings, we have limitations. But when you show them Jesus, who is not limited, they get that hope, that internal hope, that everlasting hope in their lives. Yeah. That's from the first point, sharing the love of Jesus Christ with them. Yeah. But then on the other side is that uh, being a leader of people like you see, you know, a leader, you can't shoulder everybody's problem. And you can't carry everything on your shoulder. Yes. I'm going to do all this for my people. Yes. But what is important is how can you help them, train them, teach them, and show them avenues of how they can be self-sustaining. Okay. So uh, on top of showing them with Jesus, mm -hmm. who is not limited, mm -hmm. as a man who is limited, mm -hmm. I show them how they can be trained, mm -hmm. how they can be empowered mm -hmm. to take charge of themselves. So now the word of God has come to us here. And many people who are in this church, they are all born again. It is because of God's help and power, we are now seeing a lot of changes the way it is. Many of it is that these people have the spirit of God and is really helping people to forget about the trauma of the war that has been in northern part of Uganda. I know if they continue staying in uh, this part of the village, they will bring many people to Christ. We are really happy we are here, we are excited. The Lord is confirming to us that indeed he sent us here. And also when we look at how the church is growing, how the church is impacting the community, it makes me to understand the Lord wanted us to be in this place. I want to appreciate Austin Ridge Bible Church, the leadership of Austin Ridge, the entire congregation for the partnership that we've had with them and above all for the support that they're giving me. I'm happy that you guys, you are there far away from, from me, but you care and you think about me and you bless my life always. Lord, we thank you for what all we learned from them. We thank you for their dependence on you. We thank you for the joy that we see in them. We thank you for how they utterly depend on you to meet their every need. As the church is growing in Uganda, uh, that you would just strengthen them and, and the freedom that they have in Christ. and like a fire, just let it ignite in others' hearts and souls, Lord. I just pray for people in the church to partner um, alongside uh, Padera Community Church to give these children and these staff an opportunity to, to make and raise the next leaders in your community, Lord. Thank you for your, for your son and for uh, the sacrifices he made, not only for our lives, but for the lives of those in Uganda. We love you, in Jesus' name, amen.